Good morning and welcome Team Southside, where teamwork makes the dream work. Mr. Reynolds here. And Miss D, and we have a very special guest with us today. We've got... Um, Addison Carr from Miss Smith's class. All right, and you will find out why Addison is with us here in just a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and say the pledge together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, well, it is officially Friday, which that mm -hmm. feels so good. So we hope you've had a great, great week. And since it's Friday, that means we are about to wrap up our Esta Mystery this week. That's right. Let me run back through real quickly. We were trying to figure out how many food items Mr. Sheldon's class collected in the mornings of all last week. And we know that the lowest amount was 30 in one yep. day. The highest amount in one day was 46. We know that the number or the digit in the tens place was a nine. Okay. And we know that the sum of the digits, we had all those together, equaled 17. All right, so really good clues this week. Yes, I think that that should have led them exactly to the answer this time. That's right. So we are going to give you, do you have any guesses before we officially reveal, Addy? Um, I think I'd say like, 96 or something. Okay. All right. You ready for it, you guys? The official number of food items that Mr. Sheldon's class collected in just one week is... 197. 197 <gasps> items. I mean, that is incredible. That's a lot. All those things would have just gone into the trash if it they hadn't have. collected them. That's right. 197 items that Mr. Sheldon's class, you guys, saved from just being wasted and you were able to reuse it and use it in your classroom for when you guys were hungry. I love it. Way to set such a good example of using our resources and reusing when we need to. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Maybe some other classes will do the same. It is. It's wonderful. So great job, you guys. Guys, and great job to all of you that were able to figure out your official estimate and if it was correct. Okay, well, you guys have got to know why we have Miss Addie here with us today. So, Addie, talk to us about why you were here. Um, so, every Thursday, we do a news quiz, and after the quiz, we can do an opinion question where there's a question and we have to like type it out and then submit it and it might be on the um, next quiz. And I got mine on there. Really? Yes. So your question that you submitted is now on this news quiz. And Addie, who gets to see this? Is it like students in Kentucky or is it students all around the country? All around the country. <gasps> Girl! That's right, and so you guys are going to see her question here. Now let's hear more about the book characters you'd like to meet. Addison is a fourth grader from Southside Elementary in Woodford County, Kentucky, who says, I would pick Willy Wonka from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He seems very funny and he'd show me all his crazy inventions. I'd also want to meet him because he is very creative and can teach me something new about sweets. And I love your question. Oh, that was always one of my favorite books. It's so good. Yes. It is so, so good. So we are so proud of you for submitting a question that was exciting and engaging enough to capture the audience of the entire country. That is definitely something to be excited about. So we are very proud of you. And speaking of excited, next week we are celebrating All Abilities Week. And on Monday, you can dress up. Yay, we love dress up weeks, Mr. Riddle. They're so much fun. I think you're already ready for the I Monday. am totally ready because Monday is wear shades of gray day. Because let's think about it for a second. If all of us were exactly the same, the world would be so boring. It would really kind of be like a cloudy day. So we're going to see just how boring the world would be if we all were the same by all wearing gray, just like that cloudy day that it would be if we were all the same. Mm. Yeah, let's hope Monday's not really cloudy. But I hope so too. <laughs> I hope you guys can wear gray on Monday. That's right. Participate. So wear gray to celebrate all of our abilities and participate in the very fun dress up week that we have next week. I do, before we close, want to give a shout out to our fifth grade students. Yes. Because they did such a magnificent job in their production of Pirates. Oh, it was amazing. 
I love watching them come to life on stage. The songs were great. The acting was fantastic. It was so much fun to watch them shine. Yep, so great job, fifth grade. That's right. All right, you guys. Well, you know we love seeing you be here every day. And, of course, we love to see you be safe, safe respectful, respectful, and responsible. And it's always, always a great day to be a Southside Stallion. Bye, y'all.